pilot? Oui, oui, monsieur. Come in. Good evening, sir. Here is Miss Eyre. Well, let Miss Eyre be seated. Tea is ready, sir, as you ordered. Miss Eyre, please come to the table. Oh, I am so sorry you had so much estate business, sir. I do wonder at your patience and perseverance in going on with it. Madam, I should like some tea. Oh, yes, of course, sir. Will you pass Mr. Rochester's cup? Adele might perhaps spill it. A present from Miss Eyre in your boxes? You expect a present, Miss Eyre? Are you fond of presents? I hardly know, sir. I have little experience of them. They are generally thought pleasant things. Generally thought? And well, what do you think? I am a stranger, so I have done nothing to entitle me to one. I don't fall back on over modesty. I've examined Adele and find you've taken great pains with her. She's not bright, she has no talents. Yet in a short while, she's made much improvement. Sir, you have given me my caddo. Praise in my pupil's progress. Hmm. Miss Eyre, come sit here by me. You've been resident in my house three months. Yes, sir. And you come from a charitable institution. How long were you there? Eight years, sir. Eight years? You must be tenacious of life. No wonder you've rather the look of another world. When you came upon me in Hay Lane last night, I thought unaccountably of fairy tales. Who are your parents? I have none, sir. Nor ever had, I suppose. Do you remember them? No, sir. I thought not. So, you are out waiting for your people in that lane. For whom, sir? For the men in green. The men in green all forsook England a hundred years ago. The moon will never shine on their revels more. Who recommended you to come here? I advertised and Mrs. Fairfax answered my advertisement. Yes, and I am daily thankful of my choice. Don't trouble yourself to give her a character. I shall judge for myself. She began by felling my horse. Sir? She bewitched my horse. Miss Anne, you seen much society? None. Outside Lowood, now this house, sir. You read much? Only such books as came in my way. You have lived the life of a nun. No doubt you're well drilled in religious forms. Brocklehurst, do I understand, the Rex Lowood is a parson, is he not? Yes, sir. And you girls probably worshipped him. As a convent full of novices would worship their father. No, sir. You're very cool. No. What, a convent full of novices not worship their priest? I disliked Mr. Brocklehurst. He was a harsh man, at once pompous and meddling. What age were you when you went to Lowood? About ten, sir. You're now then eighteen? Yes, sir. Arithmetic, you see, is useful. Without it, I should hardly have been able to guess your age. What do you learn at Lowood? Can you play? A little. Hmm. That is the established answer. Go into the library. I mean, if you please, Miss Eyre. Excuse my tone of command. I'm used to say do this and it is done. I cannot alter my customary habits for one new inmate. Go then into the library. Take a candle with you, sit down at the piano, and play a tune. Very well, sir.
Enough. You play a little, I see. Like any other English schoolgirl. Perhaps rather better than some, but not well. Adele showed me some sketches this morning, which she said were yours. They're on the table. Bring them. <clears throat> Are they entirely of your doing? Probably a master aided you. Certainly not, sir. Ah. Hurt's pride. Now, there are three in particular. Where'd you get your copies? Out of my head, sir. That same head I now see on your shoulders? Yes, sir. Does it have any furniture of the same kind within? I should think it may have. I hope better. Were you happy when you painted these? Painting those pictures was one of the keenest pleasures I've ever known. Well, that's not saying much. Your pleasures, by your own account, have been few. You've not enough of the artist's skill and science. Yet the drawings are, for a schoolgirl, peculiar. There. Put them away. Nine o'clock. What are you about, Miss Hare, to keep Adele up so long? Take her to bed. Good me, Monsieur. I wish you all good night now. Good night, sir. Good night, sir. <laughs> 